Okay, this is the famous Salvadorian turkey. First of all, you want to make sure that you wash the turkey, that you take out the gizzards from inside because on the neck part, you're going to find uh, the gizzards, the neck and the heart and the liver are going to be inside paper. You don't want to cook your turkey with that. So you need to take it out from the neck part. And inside the cavity, you're going to find things also. Sometimes that's where they put the neck. Okay, so you need to take those things out. You need to wash your turkey. No soap, okay, just water. And then scrub it down to make sure that it's nice and clean and you get all that junk off of it, okay? And then we want to bring it into the pan. The pan has already been pre-buttered. So we put it in the pan. We're going to take butter and just make sure that it's soft butter, okay? Uh, that you already took it out from the refrigerator. Now it's nice and soft. And you're going to cut little pieces, probably like that. And you're going to start rubbing it all over the turkey, okay? Because you want it to be like greasy, okay? Well, not greasy, but it's going to have a lot of flavor, okay? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to do that first on both sides, on the back and the front. If I were you, I would always start on the back side. So flip your turkey over on a stomach so that you can always do whatever you're going to do, spices and everything on the back of the turkey. So you're going to spread the butter on the skin to make sure you know that that's going to help it get crispy. And then you are going to put this little guy here, mustard. And I know for a lot of people that says, oh, gross, mustard, but that adds a lot of flavor to it. So you're gonna spread, not a whole, whole bunch where it's gonna be sour, okay? But you're gonna spread some mustard on the back side and on the front side. Whatever you do on the back side is what you're gonna do on the front side. So you're putting, remember, the butter, the soft butter. You're gonna put mustard. You're gonna put salt and pepper. You're gonna put some poultry seasoning all over it. And you're gonna put some of this. This is Worcester sauce, okay? So you're gonna put that on top of it also. Okay, all of this penetrates into the flavor. Now I know that some of you do not like onions, but that's one of the secrets that goes into the recipe because it gives it so much flavor. So you wanna slice up your onions, okay? And then just spread it throughout your pan. That's going to disintegrate. Okay, so you're not eating big pieces of onion, but it will give it a lot of flavor. So this is what you wanna do. Um, now we're gonna add the tomato. Okay, tomato. And I'm just using what was left over here that I used from for my rice. And um, this one has happens to have little pieces, so I like to crush it so that you don't get big pieces um, on there but you're gonna start putting it all around. Don't forget that to put stuff inside the cavity. Okay, very important. Now I bought this can and this tomato is already crushed. Okay, so it's right on there, crushed tomato. So I don't have to do what I just did with this other piece. So just get it a little messy with your hands, okay? But it's okay, because you can wash it off. Okay, so we're gonna spread this all around all around this is what's going to make your sauce okay so mm, yummy some inside the cavity okay i'm going to put the whole can on this because this as it cooks you're going to see that it turns into a nice sauce okay so i'm putting the whole can there's no need to dilute it with water or anything else because the turkey itself is going to give a lot of its own juice. Remember, you put the Worcester sauce already on there. So, you know, you don't have to worry about that, okay? So now we're going to uh, make sure that it's evenly spread. Okay, it's evenly spread throughout. And now, you know, just put it underneath the legs and underneath the arms, okay? So that the flavor will also get in there. 
because sometimes we forget about that. We forget that that also needs to have flavor. So now we're going to put um, a little bit more Worcestershire sauce, a little bit more poultry seasoning. We're gonna put some, uh, some olives and we're gonna put some prunes, okay? And I'm, you're saying prunes? And I know all this sounds gross, but believe me that all of this is what, what adds flavor, okay? So here's some, these are already pitted if that's what you want. You know, you could buy the ones that do have pits. These have pimentos in it, okay? Um, let me drain a little bit of this. Okay, so we're gonna put some of these olives in here. Ah, doesn't wanna come out. Okay, I guess they packed it pretty good. Remember the cavity, wanna put some in the cavity. Okay, so I think that's probably enough. It's to your taste, you know, whatever, whatever you want. And a little bit more uh, we're going to put a little bit more poultry seasoning. Okay, and I'm going to try to put it on the side where I just put the tomato so that that will get the flavor. Okay, and some on the turkey. So we're going to put that there. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit more of the Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put Open this, let me see. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. They just pack these things so good that sometimes when you only have two hands, it's hard to open, especially when you have to keep washing my hands to, to get some of the stuff because your hands get slippery. Open it. Okay. So we're gonna put a little bit more Worcestershire sauce. Okay. A little bit more Worcestershire sauce in there. And now we're gonna to top it off. Well, we're gonna do something special. Okay. This is for you to know. <laughs> no, we are not alcoholics. But this is white cooking wine. And uh, you, this is what gives it a lot of flavor also. Okay, so we're going to open this up. And we are going to feed this little turkey. Okay, and that's why you can see that you don't need to put any water or anything else for this. I'm going to put a little bit more salt. Okay, and I'm gonna top it off with some butter on top. Okay, if this will melt right into the, the sauce. Okay, and you can put whatever you want. This just gives it a lot of flavor. And I think that's it. And all you have to do then is, this is all prepared. Um, this is for Mika's and Mercedes. This is their first Salvadorian turkey at home. And I'm gonna cover it with some foil paper. I'm gonna cook it in the oven. Well, he's can cook it, I have my own. But you will put it in the oven at 350 degrees. Depending on the size of the turkey, usually it takes anywhere from three to four hours. Uh, being that this is a smaller turkey, I would say that it's probably going to be done in two and a half or three hours. But what you do want to remember is that every half hour, you probably want to open up the oven, take off the foil from on top, and baste it. Okay, by now all of, all of the ingredients are all, all mixed together because the butter is going to melt. And everything mixes and it's that what is the juice that you're going to baste it with as it cooks. Okay, so it isn't hard. Try it sometime.